all right guys welcome to this video in which we'll be discussing the first challenge of web in red porn ctf which is the crypt challenge now the crypt challenge was not very difficult i would say so you can see that we have something known as your safely encrypted flag is this thing right and if we go to the source code we're going to immediately see that there are a bunch of things that is the first one is that it is not allowing us to use the console the second one is it won't allow us to use the debugger right and then we have some js type of code that is if you google it you're gonna see that you can pretty much in javascript create almost everything every code using just a bunch of symbols right so that's that now what we need to, needed to do to solve this is obviously I'm gonna open inspector, but as you might have guessed, um, our debugger gets stuck. So what I'm gonna do is just click on right here and let me just zoom in here real quick so that it's easier to see. So I'm gonna click on this activate breakpoints button so that we can at least get rid of this thing, but still our console is rapidly getting cleared because of this. So we cannot use the console. So let's just go ahead and write a very simple script so I'm gonna just uh, go to you know six five three five six I don't exactly remember the limit of the set interval but I'm gonna say that in this whole interval I just want to clear every interval now the reason I did this is because whenever you do something with set interval so whenever you say something like you know anything anything and you want to do it let's say every one second so set in the world always returns you an id right and you can actually either store this particular thing in a variable or you can just pass in the id directly since we don't know what's the id of these two set intervals so i just cleared the interval for all the ids right now set in the world has a specified range i don't exactly remember but you can just throw in very large number here and it should work just fine so once you clear the console you could pretty much just get rid of this as well because both of these intervals are cleared. Now you're going to see that your example flag is something like this. But what you're going to see is that basically this function right here gets called with this particular example flag XYZ, XYZ, right? So what we need to do essentially is we need to reverse engineer this particular function which gets called with this particular argument which then gives us the example flag as this, right? So our actual flag is this, which basically uses this particular function, this whole particular function, and then calls this on the original flag and gets the encrypted flag. So let's just go ahead and reverse engineer this. So the fairly straightforward way is to just copy paste this code right here inside the eval statement and just paste it right here right and you're gonna see once I do that I get a definition of a function so let's just go ahead and copy this and store this as a function right all right so I'm just gonna tidy this a little and we could clearly see that we are doing the first step as you know I could just mention step one is we are performing a b to a of string that is converting it into a base 64 and then you know splitting by every character then second step we are doing is we are mapping the result of step one and we are adding some sort of this thing right all right so let's see what's happening right here so and the third step finally is we are uh step three is we are joining the step two and i'm just cleaning the code right now so don't worry about this and then finally i'm just returning the b2a of step three as well so if we take a look here what we're gonna see is now if i go ahead and do this and if i do something like if i go all the way down in the source and if i do something like x of this example flag and if I check the self dot example flag you see these two matches so we have the correct definition of X right here but what we want to do is actually understand this a little bit so what we're gonna do is we're gonna see first of all this particular part 
So you see that string dot from char code returns us the ASCII value of that particular character. But we are adding to that ASCII value, we are adding this particular thing. So let's see what this particular thing is. So if we just evaluate this particular thing, we're going to get 99. Why is that? Because char code add of location dot host is 99 because location location dot host is this thing and the ASCII value of a small c is 99, right? Then location dot host dot cat code at three that is zero one two three ASCII value of small l is 108 and 99 mod 108 gives us 99. So eventually what we could do is just pretty much go ahead and replace this whole thing, this whole particular thing with just 99, right? So what we are doing now essentially is we are just adding 99 to the value of every ASCII character. So to reverse this, what we need is our string, right? For this, our step one would be actually to, because we, we need to reverse this. So I'm gonna do, first of all, I'm gonna do A to B of uh, my string, right? my step two would be step one dot split by a string you can see that i'm just going reverse in a reverse direction right my step three should be actually now removing the extra 99 value which we have from here so i'm going to do step two dot map t and i'm just going to say t dot char code at 0 minus 99 because remember we already have some sort of weird alphabet or weird character right here so we get the ASCII value of it first of all remove 99 from it and then convert it back to our character right finally what we need to do is step 4 is um, step 3 dot join because you know it was already an array and then finally we're going to just return a to b my step 4 right so once we do that what i should be able to do is now go ahead and write reverse of this particular thing and we get the flag out so you can just copy this thing go ahead in your challenge place and just submit the flag and you should be good to go so yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it and if you like videos like these, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.